guys, I'm Lily O'Reilly. This is Lily O'Reilly Reviews. And today we are checking out the Bone Box Limited Edition from Skulls Unlimited. Let's get to it, huh? Okay, so first off, sorry if I'm a little scruffy. I'm straight off a premium show and trying to kind of hustle to get this out today. So, as you know, Bone Box has two different styles of boxes. You have the standard issue, which is the one that I showed you I think a week or two ago. And then you have the limited edition, which is a short run of items not found in the traditional box. So this came in, I think Friday or over the weekend. So let's get into it and see what they sent us this month. I hate these boxes. Like, this is ridiculous. Okay, so. We have the shoot and share flyer that they send out every month. Take a picture, send it in, win a month. YouTube videos apparently don't count. Ooh. Okay, so. Greetings to our loyal skeleton crew. We have had the most fun curating Bone Box Limited Edition for you over the last few months, and your reactions to the contents have been overwhelmingly positive. We want to thank you for subscribing to Limited Edition, participating in our shoot and share contests, and posting your unveiling photos and videos on social media. For those of you who subscribed in May, you will be receiving the sixth and final Limited Edition box in October. Not to worry, this isn't the end. In fact, it's only the beginning. More tears, more skulls, and more fun are already in the works. Stay in the know. Follow us on Twitter, at Official Bone Box, for all things hashtag Bone Box, including announcements, shipping updates, news, contests, and promotions. I don't remember when I subscribed, so I don't know when I'm getting my last month, but I don't think I'm there yet. Ooh, okay, so this month we got a nifty thing. We got socks, like cool ass little Skulls Unlimited hashtag Bone Box socks. And they're white on the bottom, which means that, like, the second time I wear them, they're invariably going to get destroyed. But these are cute as shit, and it's a really nifty little add-in. On top of that, we have really rustly paper. I'm sorry. Holy shit. I don't know what this is, but it's big. So. Okay, today's skull is the... Come on, you. American Badger. Order Carnivora, Family, Mustelidae, Genus and Species, Taxidea, Taxus. Cute little black creature. So, I gotta stop doing that. It gives me big ass ears. So, American Badgers can grow 24 to 35 inches long, weigh between 8 and 26 pounds, and they live 9 to 10 years in the wild. The diet is mostly carnivorous, occasionally consuming fungi, 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 and small amounts of vegetation. The range and habitat is North American grasslands from southern Canada to Mexico, so all of the U.S., I guess. And fun fact, while most badger species are social, the American badger is a solitary creature that prefers to spend most of its time alone. However, they do occasionally cooperatively hunt with coyotes to capture squirrels. That sounds fucking terrifying. I mean, my God, can you imagine being a squirrel and seeing this thing and a bunch of coyotes coming at you? Jesus. All right, so. As always, they put these things in amazing bubble wrap. Let me get in here. And this is a $65... B-grade American Badger skull. Like, this is a hefty skull. Remember how terrified I was of the chicken skull in the main box? This is nothing like that. This is a skull that you could put in a sock and beat someone with. Like, just look at it. That is a skull that is made for crunching things. The bone itself feels super thick. The jaws are hefty. Oh, hey, look at this. 
So they've actually managed to maintain the original positioning within the sockets. See right there, you can actually see the little hinge that moves. That's amazing. That's absolutely stunning. Yes, I'm being a bone nerd. It's what you came here for. So one of the ways that you can tell that this animal is used to biting and biting hard is these cheekbones, for lack of a better word. So the muscles that close the jaw attach down here, go up under the cheekbones and attach around the top of the head on this seam. This seam. Okay, my funky lighting's actually working well for once. And these muscles, so the bigger the cheekbones, the more strength the animal has on that bite. And as you can tell, this is an animal that has a lot of strength on its bite. You can actually get a fairly good look into the brain cavity there. The lighting is actually really showing off the way that the bone is partitioned, for lack of a better word. It's a gorgeous skull. Abs I'm just, I feel like fucking Steve Irwin because I just keep wanting to say that it's stunning over and over again because this is an amazing skull like if you could feel it the heft of the jaw bones the size of the teeth all of it it just comes across as a very formidable predator when you feel it in your hand and this is why we don't pet badgers in the US these teeth one does not fuck with these teeth, but oh, lovely skull. Really well done. Missing a tooth, but I mean shit. So it's like half of the southern US. We can't throw stones. It's got some minor quibbles on cleaning. There's a little spot right there with some tissue that could be removed, but as always, the things that come in from Skulls Unlimited are marvelously taken care of, very well cleaned, quality specimens even on the B grade. So yeah, that is our American Badger Skull. He is marvelous. I'm fucking, I don't know, I am just completely floored by this one. This is one of those skulls that I didn't realize I wanted until I got it in my hand, and now I'm just like, this is the most fabulous thing. So, yeah. Uh, so, that was the limited edition bone box for September. I think it was absolutely charming. If you like this, there's a whole playlist of bone box unboxings, so you can catch the ones you've missed. And feel free to like and subscribe. Send it to your friends, shout it out on social media, throw me a couple bucks on Ko-Fi, whatever, hang out, comment, come back. I enjoy you being here, so like, it's all good. I'm just glad there's somebody out there for me to nerd out about bones with. So yeah, till next time. Bye guys.